Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm holding a conference on animal therapy. I myself am an animal therapist specializing in cow whispering. <laughs> I've had many weird cases in my time, one such as Mary. Mary is a Russian Frisian. She enjoys going for long walks and she is very happy. She doesn't like to leave home. One day, Mary went missing. Her owner was very distressed. Then I was called in one day to the beach where Mary was found waterlogged <laughs> with sore ears and very windswept. I asked her, Mary, what's wrong? What happened? She said in Russian, I had to get a translator in, <laughs> she fell from the sky. I asked myself, how? Was this a gift from God? <laughs> but no, why would he give a cow? <laughs> <laughs> Is a cow falling from the sky even impossible? <laughs> oh, oh my God, I am so angry. Do you guys want to know why I'm angry? Yeah. Two reasons for why I'm angry. One, my stupid dad. Two, my stupid boyfriend. In fact, I'll rephrase that. My stupid ex-boyfriend. <laughs> Okay, do you want to know a, a, a tale about my embarrassing life? It starts off last Saturday night. You know, I, you know, my dad comes home and he tells me about this story. My dad works in the police and he's driving along the road and he sees a drunk driver. He's swerving about the road, like left and right, you know, taking up like the whole dual carriageway. So he stops and he gets into the car, he walks to get into the car. Guess who it is? My boyfriend, Jack. <laughs> okay, so my dad walks and he sees him and he's sitting there with a pair of pants in his mouth. <laughs> good old thinker Jack thought it was a good idea to rip his pants and put it in his mouth to try and soak up the alcohol. What was he even thinking? Is that even possible? Oh my god, my parents are so weird. My dad, right, he has this caravan. <coughs> he spends all his time in this caravan. He's got his clothes in the caravan, his music, his books, everything. As long as I can remember, he's been in the caravan. When my mum went into labour, he was in the caravan. <laughs> On my first day of school, he was in the caravan. He's always been there. My mum has always nagged me to try and get my dad out of the cal caravan and back into like society, but he always wants to stay in the caravan. Anyway, my parents eventually divorced, so my dad moved out and he left his caravan. And my mum was so angry at this caravan. She was furious because this caravan had destroyed her marriage and it reminded her so much of my dad. So one day I came home from school and she had buried the caravan in our garden. I don't even know how our garden was big enough, but she had literally gotten a shovel, dug a big hole and put the caravan in and just covered it over with dirt. How is that even possible? I'm annoyed at you, Mr. Tibbles. Can't believe you would do that. <laughs> I just can't. You see, you murdered those birds, Mr. Tibbles. <laughs> I just. See, I was started when you brought that bird. Didn't know what it was, so I looked it up in the bird book. I couldn't find it. I named it Batty. But it didn't stop there, did it, Mr. Tibbles? There was 27 more Barrys, wasn't there? <laughs> Yes. And then when those scientists came and told me they were the rarest bird ever, Stevens Island Wren, guess what, Mr. Tibbles? You are now the only living thing to wipe out an entire species. <laughs> How is that even possible? <laughs> Hello, sir. I, I know that your time is very, very important, but Thank you for allowing me these two minutes. I, just, I need to run this report past you. Can I assume this room is secure? Mm-hmm. We received a report very, very recently, you may remember it, about a very confused cow washed up on the shores of the, of the Japanese sea. <laughs> Our best cow therapist <laughs> determined that this cow had fallen from the sky, or at least in the words of the cow itself. We can't be sure of what belief system it ascribes to. <laughs> <laughs> However, we did later find out more information which cast may cast some light on this. However, it, it does paint a very odd story. Our listening stations reported that earlier on the same day, a Russian aircrew stole a cow, perhaps the same cow, 
from a farm, and, and as a joke. Eventually, though, sir, the cow got angry. It forced its way out of the plane. <laughs> they were forced to eject it from the plane over the Japanese sea. Now, there's only one connection that can be made here, sir, but I just, I'm just not sure my career will take it if I make it. I mean, a cow <laughs> falling from the sky, destroying a boat. Destroying a boat. How, how is that even possible? 